Hey, I'm going to make a little video about the Kestrel 5500 I just got. This is the case it came in, which I really like. It comes with this nice strap here you can put on a belt, or I put it on my backpack. Um, if I open it up, this is how everything comes to you, packaged nice and uh, nice and tight. Got the unit itself, the mount's already on there. Swivel mount, the vein blade, and our vein stem. Um, in here is a bunch of literature, and in here is your uh, battery information, your lanyard, and one energizer lithium battery. Get our battery out. Got a really nice battery door. Apparently this is a great improvement from the previous battery doors. It's got a nice o-ring seal. Let's put our battery in. Here we have our time and date. Direction settings. Since I just put, uh, replaced the battery, put the battery in, I'll have to recalibrate the internal compass. So we have wind speed, crosswind, headwind, temperature, humidity, pressure, barometric pressure with reference of zero feet, uh, altitude with the reference of standard pressure, uh, and a corrected density altitude. Um, there's several there's several other settings that you can get into. Uh, if I go to it's system measurements, and you can turn on or turn off whichever measurements you want to see. I have wind chill turned off as well as heat index, dew point, wet bulb and um, some of the user screens, the customizable user screens you can have which show about three different fields of whichever of these measurement fields you'd like to see. So if I need to recalibrate this compass I'm going to go to the, the direction menu and I just hit my enter to calibrate. You come down to calibrate compass cal, hit select, and it gives you an uh, instruction here to hold the Kestrel upright and rotate three times slowly, approximately 10 seconds per turn. So you hit this to start. I'm going to hold it upright, hit my enter key. And I go a little bit past. I do full four turns just to be safe. And there we go. Turns complete. Three out of three. Cal complete. Can't get out of here. <laughs> so I'm gonna exit. And now I've got my direction. If I turn the comp if I turn the uh, unit, I face the unit, it'll show me direction. You get the idea. Show me direction. Now I'm going to build up my vein mount. These go in like. Please excuse my cat. Oh my God. Uh, you can't put this in the wrong way. You just uh, press this in like so. And voila. There you go. Lock your uh, kestrel in. And you're ready to go. Now the only gripe I have is I wish they would have put a comp or a, um, a bubble level right here instead of this logo. Logo looks nice, but um, I'll have to glue a little bubble level on there or something because if it's not level, obviously it's going to turn whichever way it's off. Now uh, I bought this little tripod to go with it. This is about the right size tripod for what I'll be doing. This is a Manfrotto. I think it's called a Pixie. Um, or something like that. Uh, 
it works great. I'll, I'll be using this just to shoot uh, prone or just off a bench. I just want something uh, I can just set out and get a rough idea of what's going on. Um, yeah, so this is uh, the Kestrel 5500 with the vein. Uh, I really like it. This model includes the link and I'm going to show you uh, some of the issues I have with uh, connecting up with my iPhone 6S Plus. Okay, I'm going to show you how I connect uh, my Kestrel link up to my iPhone 6S Plus. The first thing you want to do is turn the Bluetooth on your Kestrel, enter your menu, and turn Bluetooth on. Next thing you want to do is go to your iPhone, go to your settings and make sure that your Bluetooth is on. Then go out of your settings and open up. I use iStrylike Pro. If you open this menu up, I've got my rifle set in. If I go to my weather, you've got this Kestrel 5x000. It's a 5, it's 5500, or any of the 5000 series. Open that up, my Kestrel comes right up. Select that one, shows me my current temperature, humidity, pressure, and density altitude. If I select use these values, and then save, that populates my weather, my current atmospheric conditions for me automatically. Down here you've got this little wind meter icon. If you select that, it takes uh, you know, about 10 seconds to warm up. And that gives me my wind directions, wind speeds displayed right there. Change my direction. It changes on the app. So I'm going to show you how to calibrate your angle of fire within iStraylock Pro. Open up the app, go to our wind meter icon. Alright, we're connected. Now if you hit this question mark, it'll show you uh, some instructions. It says to aim the Kestrel with the vein toward the target and wait 5 seconds, then press the calibrate button. Close that. Now let's say I want to shoot this way. Name the Kestrel that way. I'll just hold my phone roughly the same direction. And I'll wait till that red arrow kind of stabilizes. And I'll press calibrate. And I'll wait till that air, red arrow is now at 12 o'clock. That lets me know it is now calibrated. So let it go. That red arrow shows the direction of the wind, and 12 o'clock is, uh, of course, where my target is. entering the menu, Bluetooth, hit over and it will toggle the Bluetooth on. And then it'll pop right up. I named my Kestrel Kestrel 5500 with my initials. And this gives you a little heads up display of three different data fields that you can switch and swap however you'd like. If you open up the more menu, you can edit your dashboard and all of your uh, measurements are right there. You can slap uh, density altitude for wind direction, hit save, and then it loads it right up. You can share and save those however you want. I prefer the reading stage, uh, the readings uh, menu, um, 
anyway, and uh, that shows you everything that's going on in one field. You can also look at your stats. They show a minimum, maximum, and average over a course of time for each of your data fields. You've got logs, which show temperature, relative humidity. All of your measurements are available. And I have this set, if you note know, right here, for each five minutes, every five minutes, it records a data point. You see my directions varied a lot because I've been playing with it. Now that is the Kestrel Link app.